Sup people, we're gonna do a lens review. We're gonna do FD, 50 millimeter. Awesome, it's a pretty interesting lens. Um, obviously it's an FD lens, so all y'all are out there who don't know what that means, this means this is made for like old Canon cameras, um, which means you're gonna have to need, use this, an adapter. There are many, many several adapters out there. Um, However, I suggest getting one as thin as you can. And for those who you're wondering, it is an Albaneer FD EOS. I need a good look at it. I don't know, it's probably way out of focus. But, you know, there you go. It's simple. It comes with this back leather, or not leather, plastic thingy. About this lens, it is a 1.8. Um, it's a little bit of, it's a fast lens. Uh, the thing is though, that's all you have, 1.8. When you put this adapter on, there's some, I think there are some adapters out there where um, if you put the thing on the camera, um, you're able to actually change the f-stop. Um, like this, I have a 27 Sigma mini wide. Uh, if I put this on correctly, I'm able to actually, you know, use the aperture. Um, correctly but with this FD lens it's just wide open and I can't figure out a way to actually put it in a certain way where I can actually still adjust um, the aperture um, it's really solid you could probably throw this at a, at a dinosaur all right so that's the gist of it um, one thing about these lenses though and I see I took some photos of it and you won't be able to tell necessarily but um uh, each lens kind of has their own their own little mark I guess you can say on their pictures which is basically why you're gonna buy one of these lenses because um, they produce an artistic image you're not really there to get the nice crisp clean image necessarily because I mean this one it kind of gets a little more of an art flavor and so um, uh, some of them they will have like this bright like like a bright spot in the middle of your picture. Um, what I really love using this lens for is the bokeh. It's really cool because it makes it all fiery. It looks like it's not all soft and smooth and whatnot. It's like, it's distorted and and, um, and I'll show you a couple pictures that I've done um, and also does for video. And I haven't actually used it for a video yet and it would be really cool to get that effect. Um, but uh, yeah, so it just, it's just, chaotic and it's really cool and I really love it. Um, I'll kind of show you how to put this adapter on. Maybe that's a lie. So, or at least what it looks like, how about that? Oh, look at that right there. It normally takes me a like hundred times to actually put it on. Oh well, well, that's what it looks like with the adapter. It's a little bigger, um, more heavier. And uh, well, you can't really mess with the aperture because see, I don't know if you can tell, it's wide open and there's nothing you can do about it. Uh, that's generally it. Um, I really love the lens. They're like 20 bucks on eBay. Uh, get one and no one cares for them. So that's why you can get them so cheap. They actually do produce a relatively good image and it's pretty nice. I hope uh, this helps you guys know a little bit more about it. Um, made in Japan. So thanks for watching this video. I'm gonna have more coming out. I have a few lenses. And I was thinking, hey, why not do a couple reviews over them? And so, um, go out there, start shooting. Don't start shooting people though, because killing people is bad. Just kidding. I mean, it's whatever. You ever have that awkward moment? Uh, yeah, we shot Jerry last week. It actually turned out really nice. And there's like people like walking around like, what the heck is he talking about? All right, cool. Um, I'm a rebel.